today I got the pleasure of working on a Honda Odyssey van, 2006. It's got a 3.5 J35 A7 with the VTEC, and uh, they needed a timing belt. Uh, we're gonna do the water pump too. Here's a water pump right here, and uh, these motors have a hydraulic tensioner. Here, come over here and show you. Just like what a timing chain would have, hydraulic tensioner, that they use it for the belt system. Uh, here's your original belt, which is pretty worn. There's uh, about 170,000 miles on this van. And by the looks of it, this is still the original uh, Honda factory timing belt. Uh, the problem is you don't want these timing belts to go because what will happen is uh, being an interference motor, your valves will hit the pistons if that thing ever went. So not only would you be changing a timing belt, but you would definitely rebuild the top end of this engine if you had timing belt failure. So just information out there for anyone that owns a J series. Uh, the instructions actually has you use the battery bolt down to keep this tensioner tight in position pretty cool I think it's pretty cool but, yep got the engine all aligned as you can see that mark so this dot goes there and if you come to the top this one's gonna be a little challenge but I think I right. here's the cam gear there is a mark right there and number one, see that little divot? It aligns with that guy right there. And same with the back head. It is exactly. You better make sure that those marks line up. Because if they don't, you're going to have some trouble. And, uh, yeah. So. Hey, hey. Okay, we are back. And so far, I got the new water pump on, got the new bearings all set up. They are torqued down to 33 foot pounds. Uh, the water pump housing bolts get torqued down to 10 foot pounds, which is like pretty much nothing, but yeah. Um, plus, you don't want to break them, and you need them to be even. And the reason why you need it to seat even is because your uh, motor mount bracket goes through the water pump into the block. So. If anyone has to do a water pump, just let you know, you are going to be removing the motor mount because the housing shares the bolts. Uh, pretty crazy. But. Next up is putting the timing belt on. Everything is still perfectly aligned. Um, yep, this guy. That's there, so. Yep, we're good to go. I just want to clean it out, make sure there's no more antifreeze. Um, Cause you know, I mean, if you have a little bit of antifreeze in there, you got this sensor you gotta worry about. And my experience with coolant and wiring is not good. It can make a cold solder really quick. Uh, I just use electric cleaner to take care of this. And that is the battery tray hold down bolt that actually threads in there to hold the tensioner so that you can, yeah, do your thing. Um, yep, yeah, let me just get the belt on and then the new tensioner will go on. And see where we're at. So here is the new timing belt, water pump, tensioner. So these engines have a hydraulic tensioner and uh, that is the main reason why you do want to replace your timing belt, guys, is because these things wear out. And even if your belt's not bad, if that guy goes, you're still gonna skip a tooth and possibly damage the engine. So just throwing that out there. Um, I got help from good old Patrick here. And uh, he showed me some good tricks that the instruction manuals didn't because I was actually having a hard time with this belt and the tensioner. And uh, thanks to him, it's now all back together. Always learning, you know? So, 
That's it, guys. We'll go ahead and put it together and see how this van runs. This is Darren coming at you from High Impact Motorsports, aka DJ. Um, just got done doing a timing belt on this Honda Odyssey van. And uh, just taking it for a nice test drive right now. One thing about doing the timing belt is uh, with the disconnecting the battery and all, make sure you have the radio and navigation codes. One tip trick on that is that, yes, you can use Honda get codes it's a website where you can put in your VIN your serial number but you will have to have the serial numbers for the radio and the navigation one tip trick about all this is that if you're dealing with a recently new van check the Honda service manual not the warranty manual there's like two books but in the Honda service manual in the front you will find that the dealer or someone prior has wrote in the radio codes and the navigation code if it has that system so just letting you know did the water pump on this did the timing belt did a tensioner um serviced the ac on it the high side pressure port was leaking and that's been uh, taken care of just uh yeah just head on down checkered flag road or lane i mean Bring it out to Apex and just make sure everything's good. You know, don't want it to skip time or overheat. So it's one thing about doing these big jobs is it can it can eat you up if uh, something happens. <laughs> but with the help of Patrick and what we do, I think this is pretty good. It is a very busy day today, and uh, I got to get this done. So. Hope to see more of y'all uh, watching the recent videos of what we were doing. Um, this is probably going to go on my channel, not the high impact channel, due to the fact that I'm using my cell phone. And uh, I don't have information of logging into the shop's channel, so there's that. Nor have I asked for the information, so that's probably, that's probably a bad thing on my part. So far, so good. We're coming up to a stopped car in the middle of the road. Who knows why, you know? It happens. Oh, oh, look at that. Put on my directional, go around them, and then they decide to drive. Typical USA. <laughs> oh, man. On my left, we have it where this is actually where the police do their maneuvers. So if they're ever in a car chase situation, it's where they do all their pit maneuvers. Yep. Yep. So far, so good. And we're cutting it almost three minutes. I think that's a good introduction of this Honda Odyssey. So, yeah. I'll get back to base and let you all know on how this test drive went. So, next time.